Now, blessed people, the Lord has spoken with me again. After speaking with you this morning, the Lord has spoken with me again about the massive healing service that is coming up six days from here. And uh, many nations can partake of this healing service. They can also assemble and be part of this tremendous healing service. But the Lord Jehovah again spoke with me about this massive healing service that is coming up after I finished the conversation and stopped the communication I was having with you this morning. Then the Lord again now began to show me the details of the healing service. I see this baby who was totally blind. The eyes will open. There's a baby, I don't know, the two and a half years or so, but totally blind. Then the eyes open. She cripples that walk. There's going to be such a massive healing service. And many blind people, the Lord is saying that many blind people will see. The Lord is going to open their eyes six days from now. They will get new eyes and they will celebrate Jesus. They will be very thankful that Jesus went to the cross at Calvary. And they will be very thankful that he's coming. But the grace that he has put ahead of him, the grace that comes before his arrival is so enormous and awesome. It will open their eyes. The creepers walking. I see the creepers walking. I see many, many conditions healed. Wounds, people with brain injuries, liver conditions, kidneys. People whose knees were crushed, I see them walking again, new kneecaps. The Lord is going to do big things uh, six days from now. Again, this morning, after I finished communicating with you, the Lord slayed me. And when he slayed me, then he showed me again the healing service, but this time with a lot of detail. And so, again, I urge you to gather in about 80 or 90, 84 or 90 stadiums. You can do joint services, bring all six into your joint service, combine all the churches in your region, the bishops know how to do this, the senior presiding bishop, and bring all the six, give every sick person, every cripple, every blind, every deaf, every mute, every sick person in this land, give them an opportunity. Even in other countries that will gather, please give an opportunity to every person who is disabled, who is sick, because this is a wonderful privilege the Lord has offered here now. The massive revival is coming to the land. The Lord is loving the church again. He's loving the church in Kenya. And He's come to bless the church in Kenya and the church globally. Because, you know, the meetings and the things that happen in Kenya here have a global implication into the bigger body of Christ, the larger body of Christ. So I see this baby whose eyes have opened, and I see many, many more blind eyes opened across the land. And it's my prayer that many nations will partake of this, that they too, their blind may see, that they may partake of the latter visitation, the latter anointing of the Lord that is releasing at this hour. But you can gather and do what Kenyans are doing. Kenyans are simply gathering in stadium and tuning on the radio. So the anointing that the Lord has placed on these two tremendous prophets has no special limitation and has no limitation in time also. However, the current visitation that is coming to take place six days from now, every single person, whether it is fibroid or it's bleeding disease or it's breast tumors or it's a brain cancer or it's leukemia, diabetes, dialysis by the failure of your because of failure of your kidneys, whatever, crippled, blind, deaf, mute, lame, spinal cord injury, paralytic, those with stroke, it doesn't matter the condition, even those in the hospitals. So I know that the big conversation beginning this moment on in Kenya and beyond, especially in Kenya here, is going to be a lot of movement, a lot of young men and doctors and uh, a lot of nurses, pastors, rushing to hospitals, letting them know in those ICUs, in those wards, that they can have a radio next to them, and going deep in the villages to collect cripples. What an awesome time that the Lord has remembered the cripples in the land. Now look how the Lord is loving Kenya. 
He's blessing Kenya today. He's saying there are cripples who get up. And when I finished the first conversation in the morning, he slayed me again and showed me now the myriad of cripples and blind and deaf and mute and lame, paralytic, spinal cord injuries, broken knees, broken ribs, broken skulls, brain injuries that are going to be healed. It will be a wonder. A wonder, a big wonder. And without going into detail, they can present the leaves, the precious leaves, the glorious leaves of the tree of life in heaven again. So this is an awesome emissary envoy of God that is now trained, focused on Kenya. They have now riveted their eyes on Kenya. Kenya, the Lord is loving you. That means the Lord is loving the entire body of Christ globally. I bless you, the Church of Christ in Kenya. I bless you, the Church of Christ that is repentant globally, that you may see the glorious kingdom of God. Let us reject sin and shame Satan. Let us populate heaven and depopulate hell. Let Satan go to hell alone. The Messiah is coming, blessed people. I see a lot of healing now. He has shown me a lot of cripples that are going to get up and walk. A lot of lame leg tricks. A lot of blind. A lot of deaf mute. It's going to be historic here. And those nations that will gather also. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless the bride of Christ. So you can partake of these visitations from all over the United States, all over Europe, Australia, Asia, everywhere. So the Messiah is coming. Let us perpetually, consistently, and constantly pursue righteousness, pursue holiness, turn away from sin, shun sin. The Messiah is coming. The Lord has blessed Kenya in a mighty way today, and in so doing by extension, bless the entire body of Christ. Wherever you are, whether you are sick in Australia, New Zealand, wherever, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Singapore, you can partake of these healing services. Kenyans are simply tuning on the radio. I am not going to leave where I stay. The same decree will reach you. The power of the blood of Jesus, the wonder-working blood of Jesus, he is still percolating, he is still healing man, he is still setting them free from sin. I bless you, Kenya. I bless the church in Kenya. I bless the entire body of Christ globally. Those who have chosen holiness. But Shalom, the Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. The Messiah is coming. <laughs>